hey guys and welcome to my channel and yeah my name is advent mudimba and this is actually my first video of me talking so i hope this video is going to be a success uh, today i'm just going to talk about a subject of which i think is important for everyone to hear about which is basically um the power of your mind and for me one thing that i had to learn is that my mind it has the power to create imaginations it has the power to create images and it receives some of these things through our eyes through our ears and i've realized that i need to be careful what i think about you know what i think about can either make my day or ruin my day you really really need to be careful what you think about because if you keep telling yourself i'm not enough i'm not this i'm not beautiful i'm not gonna make it i'm not handsome i'm just going to fail i'm a failure and whether this is you telling yourself whether this is other people telling this to you this can either really make your day or ruin your day and people underestimate the power of it because sometimes you wake up optimistic in the morning and you really feel happy you feel happy that you know i'm alive you're happy that God has given you another day. And then someone comes along, they tell you something. Or you start thinking of something that happened in the past. Or you start overanalyzing something. And without realizing it, this can gradually change your mood every day. One thing that I've personally had to realize is that my mind has the ability to either give me joy, give me sorrow, give me happiness, um, make me feel like I'm good enough. But guess what? It's all in my control. So it's all in your control. You have to make the choice whether to be happy or to be sad. Imagine a situation whereby you woke up each morning, you told yourself, I am content with who I am. I'm content with what I have. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be hopeful. I'm going to have joy. I'm deciding to not have sorrow in my life. Imagine how much good you're going to be doing to yourself. Uh, throughout your whole day if you told yourself this every day and you told yourself every moment like you told yourself nah man I'm, I'm 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 good enough for myself i don't need anyone to tell me who i am and you know one thing that we really have to learn is don't let your mind to wander anyhow you know, you've got to have the grip. You've got to tell your mind, you know what? Today we're going to have a good day. No matter what somebody is going to say, no matter what somebody is going to say about me, no matter what I'm going to receive, no matter what I'm going to think about, we are going to have a good day. This is you taking charge of your life. This is you taking charge of your mind. You know, if someone comes up to you, you know what, Advent? I don't like your haircut. You know what, Advent? I don't like the shit you're wearing. I don't like the way you look today. I don't like but you just smile because you have told yourself when you started the day i'm good enough i'm perfect the way i am god created me in his image you know this is the mind you have to take control of your mind a perfect example of this is think of a person driving a car you know picture that in your mind when a person is driving a car what do they have to do they have to hold the steering wheel they have to take hold of that steering wheel and control in which way it moves and control in what direction it moves. You have to do the same with your mind. You've got to take charge of the steering wheel of your mind. Control where your mind goes. When you see yourself almost thinking, oh, that person is better than me, oh, that person has better things than me, or oh, that person has a better life than me, think of all the things that God has done for you. You know, tell yourself, I don't care what that person has. I don't care what you may have. I'm going to flourish in everything I do because I have told my mind, I have told myself that I am good enough. And while we are still talking about this whole soul and joy and happiness thing, let me just tell you something about myself, about me growing up. So growing up, I'm a person that didn't really have much self-esteem. I never really had confidence in myself. I always told myself, but Advent, look at the other child. Look at how this person, they look like. Look at what they have. Look at how their body looks like. You don't look like that, so you are not handsome enough. So you're not good looking enough. You're not good enough. You're not perfect. And you know, I, I believed this for so long that in my childhood, I 
I don't know, I sort of isolated myself because I thought I wasn't good enough. I isolated myself from other children because I thought I didn't look a certain way. I isolated myself because I don't know, I thought why am I not like other children? Why don't I look like them? Why don't I have their body? This was all in my mind and throughout my whole school career thinking about it. Throughout primary school, throughout high school, I spent most of the time alone. And you know, this mindset sort of, I can say it actually kind of ruined my childhood because I told myself for so long that I think you are not good enough, you are not perfect. I told myself these negative things about myself for so long that I even started to believe it. I even started to think that I'm not good enough, I'm not perfect. I am not good looking enough, I'm not like this, I'm not like this, I don't have this, what, 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 what. And I believed it. And until I had to come to a point where I am right now, that, you know, everyone is going to have an opinion about you, how you look, how you talk, how you are as a person. But you have the power to decide whether that's going to define you, whether that's going to be your reality, or whether you're going to discard it because you are perfect just the way you are. God created you in his own image, so there is no reason for you to believe otherwise. You are a perfect person, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I had to tell myself these things every day. Um, and now, I can truly say that, yes, I have things that I have to work on, physically and emotionally and whatnot. But I cannot let other people's thoughts change what I feel about myself in my mind. I have told myself, Advent, you are perfect. You are just the way God pictured you to be. You are made in God's image. And you know, picture yourself as this person that no matter what who says, you are gonna stand your ground because God made you to be this beautiful person. God made you to be this amazing person. One of the things that really matters about how you see yourself is what you listen to and what you see. God, what your mind takes from people. You've got to be selective of what it is that people tell you that you're going to keep. You know, there's this saying that garbage in, garbage out. If people keep telling you, Advent, you're not this. If keep telling people keep, keep telling you that you're not beautiful, you're not handsome, you're not good looking, you're not all that, you tell your mind, I'm not going to listen to this. I'm not going to keep this in my mind. I'm not going to keep all that garbage that people keep telling me in my mind. I'm going to believe what God has told me about me. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm made in his image. And you tell this to yourself every day until other people's opinion doesn't matter. You know? Because you are perfect. You are amazing just the way you are. The Bible says in Philippians 4 verse 8 that whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, Whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. You know, you have to think good things. You have to have good thoughts. You have to think the right things. You have to think pure things, lovely things, admirable things. Whatever is praiseworthy, whatever is excellent, think about this thing. And I'm telling you, you thinking you're not good enough, you thinking you're not perfect, you thinking you're not beautiful, you thinking you're not handsome, you think you're not good looking. That is not pure. That is not lovely. That's not right. It's all wrong because I'm. You know what? Guess what? You're perfect, child. You're amazing just the way you are. You are beautiful just the way you were made. You know. And also in Proverbs twenty-three verse seven, it says, "As someone thinks within himself, so he is. As a man thinketh, so is he." Tell yourself every moment, every minute. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God says this about me and I'm gonna believe it. You know, say this to yourself every day and you know what, in no time you're gonna see yourself in that way. You can see yourself as a perfect person when you don't believe it. You know, what you choose to see and listen to is gonna determine your reality. You have the power to change your reality by shifting your focus. So if you keep your focus on those things that people say about you, if you keep your focus on failure, if you keep your focus on things that are not right, on things that are not noble, on things that are not pure, on things that are not lovely, 
this is going to be a reality. If you think in your mind, I'm going to fail anatomy tomorrow, I'm going to fail this test, I'm going to fail this exam, guess what? You are going to fail. Because if you tell yourself, I'm going to pass, I'm going to pass, no matter what anyone says, no matter what my mind is telling me, I'm going to pass. And because you think you're going to pass, because you keep telling yourself you're going to pass, you are going to have that will within you to study but then you've got it's all a choice guys it's really a choice how you choose to see yourself how you choose to see your situation how you choose to see yourself it's all a choice and if you want to prosper if you want to pass if you want good things you have to think about them you have to tell yourself every day that i was made in god's image you know imagine if we all lived like this accepting the reality that god you made us in your image you told me i'm not a failure I have the mind of Christ. So I'm going to pass this exam. I'm not going to fail. These are things that I didn't used to believe myself in the past until I had to tell myself that, you know what? Yes, this is the situation. And sometimes the situation, your surroundings, they're going to be saying the opposite of what you should be telling yourself. And at some point I had to tell myself, you know what, Advent? Change your mentality. And it's going to take time. You're going to have to tell yourself repeatedly every day, every morning, every evening. When you're going to bed, when you're waking up, you tell yourself, I am who God says I am. One thing that really takes hold of our mind is fear. Fear is such a big thing, guys. I am telling you from experience, fear can change your life. It can change your entire reality. In 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, it says, um, for God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power, love, and self-control. God gave you a spirit, not of fear, but of power, love, and self-control. He gave you a spirit of love, so love yourself. He gave you a spirit, not of fear, so don't fear anything. That scripture right there, it says God gave you a spirit, not of fear. So why should you fear anything? Why should you fear that exam? Why should you fear that test? You might be asking yourself, how can I control my mind? How can I control my thoughts? One thing that I had to learn is stop overthinking situations. When you overthink situations, you start worrying. You start worrying yourself over things that you shouldn't even worry about. You know, you have to tell yourself, like the Bible says in Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything you can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. So tell yourself, man, I'm not going to worry about this situation. I'm not going to worry about anything. I won't worry about anatomy. I won't worry what people think about me. You know, don't overanalyze things because the moment you start overanalyzing, you start seeing things that are not there. And for me, the second way that has worked, always think positively. Don't underestimate the positive thinking. You know, there's this quote that uh, I once read. It says, positive minds produce positive lives. Negative minds produce negative lives. Positive thoughts are always full of faith and hope. Negative thoughts are always full of fear and doubt. This is from The Better Fields of the Mind by Joyce Meyer. I really recommend everyone to read that book because there's some really good um, things there that you can use to change your thinking about yourself, about your situations, about your family, about whatever may be troubling you. And another thing is that you should always pray. And the thing is that I personally have experienced um, certain things they were not physical but i had experienced battles in my mind like i always used to think i'm not good enough i'm not perfect i'm what 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 i convinced myself these things for so long until i changed my thinking and now if you told me i think you're not good looking enough it's okay i don't need you to see me like that i know myself i'm good looking i'm good looking in someone's eyes i'm good looking in god's eyes and that's all i need <laughs> you know tell yourself these things every day it says the greatest weapon we have is the ability to choose one thought over the other. So you're always going to have a choice to think you're not good enough or to think you're good enough, to think you're going to pass or to think you're not going to pass or to think you're going to fail or to think you're not going to fail. It's all a choice. It's really, really all a choice. You can change your life by letting God change your mind. Let him change your mind. Let him tell you all these things. Study the word of God and find everything which God says about you. And opinions of men are not going to matter. Because 
if you tell yourself you're not good enough, you're gonna believe it. You know, your mind is a battlefield. Be its commander and not its soldier. That one really speaks volumes to me because it says, I have control over my situations. I'm the master of my destiny. You know, your battlefield is all in the mind. So choose to be its commander today. Don't choose to be just a normal, ordinary soldier in your own mind, which God has given you control over. Your mind is a battlefield. I really hope this changes someone, even if it's one person. I really hope that this changes someone's perspective. And I know it's a long video. I'm still new to this whole making videos short thingy, but I really hope that this is going to change how you see yourself. This is going to change how you see your situation. This is going to change how you see your family. This is going to change how you see your future, how you see you tomorrow, how you even see yourself 10 minutes from now. It's all in the mind. Tell yourself, I'm going to prosper. I'm not going to fail. Failure is not my portion, fam. I was made to flourish and to prosper in this life. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I hope you liked this video. And I hope it changed your life for the better. Do me a favor, like the video, comment, um, subscribe, and share the video. Till next time, thank you guys for watching.